Okay, in this third video on this quasi-linear utility function, we're going to do a Slutsky decomposition for good x. So here's our utility function, quasi-linear utility function. We found in an earlier video that the ordinary or Marshallian demand for good x is given by the price of good y divided by the price of good x. And we found that the compensated demand for good x in another video was given as the price of good y divided by the price of good x, exactly the same as the ordinary Marshallian demand. Here is the Slutsky equation, the total effect of a change in the price of good x on units of good x uh, is given by the substitution effect minus the income effect. So the total effect of the price change is the partial derivative of the ordinary demand with respect to the price of good x. The substitution effect of the price change is going to be a partial derivative of the compensated demand function with respect to the price of good x. And finally, the income effect is given by the following result. It's going to be minus x, the ordinary demand, multiplied by the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to m or income. So showing those results over here on the right. The total effect of a price change um, on good x is the partial derivative of the ordinary demand with respect to the price of good x. And following the quotient rule, it will equal the following. To get the substitution effect, we're going to take the partial derivative of the compensated demand for good x with respect to price of good x. And notice that the substitution effect equals the total effect. And that can only be possible if the income effect is zero. And as we'll see, the income effect here is going to be zero. So what is the income effect? So minus x, and x is just the ordinary demand. So the ordinary demand is the price of good y divided by the price of good x. And then I'm going to take the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function with respect to m. And since there's no m here, it's just 0. So the income effect is 0. Therefore, uh, the total effect of the price change will simply be the result of the substitution effect. There is no income effect here in the quasi-linear case. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.